A greeting, Scorpio, and welcome. Welcome. This is a timeless reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. A timeless reading uh, that I hope you can all resonate with and to bring your own uh, intuition and gain some insights into what it is you need to know right now from your spirit guides. And uh, let's dive right in and see what it is uh, that my uh, Scorpios need to know right now. And uh, the first card that comes out is uh, the Three of Swords. We'll take a moment to um, tap into this image. The Three of Swords and uh, the Moon is challenging that. So there could be, um, as you come upon this reading, uh, and coming back to some feeling um, mentally, maybe you're just uh, in a daydream and suddenly you feel this pain in your heart and you're thinking, um, maybe I'm having a heart attack. But it's really that, you know, we have these um, deep inner wounds uh, from um, relationships that meant a lot to us, all of us do. And uh, so it's like to allow that time to evoke in us mentally, because this is a card of swords in the air um, for you, Scorpio, uh, to uh, give you mental clarity, to understand uh, this severance in a relationship, it had to happen. It, it's, um, it, it came to an end out of necessity, out of just why it's, we don't know, because the moon is challenging. You don't really know. You might be going over and over in your mind um, what it was happening. What were these secrets that were being kept from me? Um, what am I under the delusion of that I'm trying to come out of the unconscious like this uh, lobster, uh, coming out, coming on my path, uh, going past my uh, instincts and the w wolf, meeting up with that wolfish nature, uh, and then uh, having this more domestic side of you uh, that you're tapping into, and you're using all of those ingredients to uh, try to understand your broken heart, what's happened. Uh, this could have happened a long time ago, but it feels like it happened three minutes ago. But your path is unclear. There are fluctuations in your emotions. Uh, you um, are needing to find some a balance through going deeply into your intuition. You could be having a lot of dreams right now. Maybe dreams about this heartbreak, about a betrayal. Maybe there was a third party situation and that person who uh, broke up your relationship, broke up your marriage, uh, could have been broke up your family, I broke up a very important friendship group, and you're still in the dark about it. You still are uh, trying to get information. You don't have all the facts. Uh, so let's see what is at the root of this uh, reading. Um, the Ace of Wands, Scorpio. At the very foundation, you've already been offered. It could be out of your field of awareness, but see how this castle is crumbling? And you're taking this wand. This is a new opportunity uh, to move forward out of the darkness, into the light, into the sun, out of this um, deception, uh, this feeling of unclarity. And you're with the Ace of Wands, that's like striking a match in the dark, and you're gonna go for this new idea, new passion, something you're very energetic about and confident. But it's an opportunity to go out with the old and in with the new. So whenever you're seeing this reading, your spirit guides are saying, it's time to uh, burst forward on the scene. Be bold. Have faith in your own energy, your passion, your intuition, that gut instinct. <clears throat> because what happened recently in the past was the fool. You uh, <clears throat> took a leap of faith. You knew that it's time. You have just what you need in your little bag. And you plucked a flower of innocence to say <clears throat> um, something in your recent past influenced you 
uh, in a way to just move forward dramatically, take a new beginning. And this is definitely confirming that. This new beginning, and you stood out. You stepped out. You see, this is the wand uh, that the fool is holding the um, backpack on. And you've got your instincts, and you have the dogs here, too. You have the instincts uh, to let you know, Scorpio, this is uh, where you need to go. And recent, you took that leap of faith, maybe even though you were in the dark. Um, but you leaped forward, a new beginning, a new adventure, <laughs> a new way of thinking, beginner's mind, because uh, the higher powers want you to know that this feeling of lack, this feeling of being left out in the cold because uh, someone hurt you to the core, uh, broke your heart. Um, it's <clears throat> You're moving on uh, from that. Uh, they're moving toward the future, but you will get that help. You'll seek that new beginning. Um, you're good enough. You've always been good enough. You've always had everything you need. And if we ever feel that we're coming on uh, a hard time, uh, maybe we've lost our job or uh, an investment went south or whatever that feeling is, we're disconnected from a person who um, maybe through a divorce, we uh, didn't get the money in the s settlement that we needed because we didn't have all the information. But you're moving towards spiritual support. You're believing again in yourself this new beginning, this you're being something totally new, unrecognizable. And it's coming uh, because you are, are stepping in, you're belonging, you're part of it all, uh, um, Scorpio. And it's you're coming now because of the wheel of fortune. Well, something is turning in your favor with the fool, a whole new beginning. Uh, and you're allowing that to move you forward. Um, you're allowing that, uh, this is uh, the energy of um, good luck, of Jupiter expanding, uh, possibilities. Once you let go, and my Scorpios, and each one of you knows um, in your own way as you come to this timeless reading where you've been left out, where you didn't feel like you belonged, where you didn't feel like you were good enough. This is a card of lack, and your uh, spirits want you to know you're never lacking and once you download that embody it then the wheel turns in your favor it can't help but uh, because you're uh, going to see this broken heart uh, from the perspective of the star this could involve a aquarius a scorpio and this is going to shine with optimism hope happiness Happiness based on coming out of a difficult time, a tower moment where something collapsed in your life, uh, maybe a structure you have built, a relationship you put everything into, and it came crashing down. Um, I'm thinking of that song by Fleetwood Mac, um, A Landslide, if y'all want to look that up. But uh, it's like... <clears throat> Now you're coming out into the light uh, because you can shine in the darkest of places and integrate uh, your spirits uh, with what is going on and you're turning and wheel is moving toward that and it's going to bring you to a uh, stardom at some level. You're going to be the star and recognize that. And what is influencing you from your environment is uh, the queen of swords. Truth is coming from your environment. Uh, this is the queen that gets above the clouds. The butterflies on your throne are saying that someone is coming. This could be an Aquarius uh, sign because it's an air sign. And the star is the representation of Aquarius. You're getting the truth from someone about some feeling of lack, of not having enough. And the wheel's turning in your favor because a new opportunity. And your hope and fear is um, that you will leave this amazing legacy. That you'll go from the five to the ten. That's double. Your hoping is that you will have this uh, vineyard, these uh, outer properties, um, dogs, uh, loyalty around you, friends, a structure. 
a, a legacy to leave behind. Uh, and that is what you're hoping for. After this broken heart, you're hoping uh, that you can move from this feeling of lack to abundance. But that has to come in raising your vibrational field through your mind, through your beliefs, uh, through your affirmations, to already see yourself uh, in this position, because this is the goal. In whatever way, Scorpio, you're each different, that this will manifest for you. And it's coming with the wheel and the star and the fool, a new beginning. Wow, very powerful readings, uh, Scorpio. This timeless reading, whenever you find this, is meant for you. And the advice is another queen, the queen of cups. And this is a Scorpio. So you're showing up in your own a reading as well, Scorpio. You're um, being able to, like with the um, water bearer, this Aquarius, you're able to have your deep emotions. Her a cup is almost like a trophy uh, because she's been awarded at some deep level her ability to use her intuition, her insights, her psychic abilities that are very uh, deeply connected to her dreams and just her knowing, that inner knowing, that watery nature of our emotions. And uh, that is what Scorpio, your, your gift is that, and to fulfill that at whatever place you are on your uh, journey, on your path, you are coming toward that fulfillment, masculine or, or energy or feminine. It's the feminine energy at this time. You could be a man or a woman. But you have this energy of the female version of the air, which is a cutting through, seeing uh, deeply uh, for the first time and knowing what's right and wrong. And the a queen of the waters who knows what's right for her feelings, knows what's right, takes them thought out of it. So you've got uh, an interesting uh, a diametrically opposed energy here. And it's going to bring you a legacy of abundance, of wealth, of security, of um, healing um, some kind of family legacy about money. And that's what I have for you, Scorpio. And again, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, you might, if you've already subscribed, check for me and subscribe again. And for my new viewers, uh, subscribe right now and leave comments and thumbs up. Thank you so much um, for your support. And you know I love you. And this is a very powerful reading. You've got this major arcana uh, coming. You've got the star and the moon. So there's a lot of energy shining in the darkness. And the wheel is turning for this new beginning. And that's what I have. See you next time. And wherever you are on this beautiful uh, blue floating planet, have a great day. Bye.